this video I'm going to show you how to fully process a Magento order which has come through as a pending order paid by check. I'm going to set it through as processing and process the invoice and then set it to ship and complete the order. I can either click down here in this grid or I can go to my sales orders grid and it's this top one up here which is set to pending so it's been paid by check so it comes through as pending. If you have a PayPal or credit card order, it will go through as processing and process the invoice automatically. But in this instance, as it's checked, it goes through as pending and I have to invoice it manually myself. When you click on the order row, you get this order overview screen, which starts with the date of the order, the current status, which is pending, um, the website and store that it was purchased from, the IP address of the user, and if the customer has an account, it will give you the name and email address, otherwise it will just say that they're a guest. Below that you've got the billing and delivery details and the payment and deli um, delivery information. Below that we've got the a, a grid which gives you all the items that the customer has just ordered along with the quantity and a breakdown of their prices and tax. Below that we've got the general overall order totals and to the left of that we've got our comments and order history. If I scroll back to the top, in the left tab, we've got the information screen, which is brought at the moment, which just gives you all the information about the order. You've got invoices, credit memos, deliveries, comments history, and transactions, all of which are blank at the moment. If I go back up to information, in the top right corner, we've got edit to edit the order in any way. We've got cancel. We can send the customer their order email again. We can put the order on hold. We can process the order, which is to invoice it, which is the next stage. We can set the order straight to complete, which will bypass the um, invoicing stage. Or we can reorder, basically create a duplicate of the order that we've got at the moment. In most instances, um, in this case, you would want to process the order. So I'm going to go to invoice. And it gives you a lot of the same information that the order overview screen gives you. Um, if I scroll down you can see the grid of products that we've got and what it's what's possible to do here is to invoice items separately so perhaps I don't have all of these products in stock at the moment so I'll set this to one and then I'll click update quantities and if you notice the subtotal here will change to a new subtotal which is all of these products minus this one up here which I've taken out which means I'm only going to partially invoice this order. In the comments box down here I can put a message which will go to the customer. If I decide to email a copy of the invoice which is always best to do. I can then append those comments to the invoice so they'll know why they've only been, invo been, uh, been invoiced for seven of the products rather than all eight. When I'm happy with what my invoice is going to be um, become, I click the submit invoice at the bottom. Then it'll tell me my invoice has been created. But as you can see, the invoice option is still available up here because I've not completely finished my um, invoicing for the uh, for the order. If I go to the invoices tab over here, you can see that it's created a unique order uh, invoice ID, and it's told me that the um, invoice has been paid. If I go back to the information screen and scroll down, you can see that of all the items that I've ordered, that one is still only set to invoice one rather than two. The total due is still at £20 because that's the cost of the item that I've not invoiced. And you can see that the order has been set to processing down here. So it's gone from pending to processing, which is in the invoice stage. If I scroll back up to the top, you can see the order status there is processing. So now the item that I need to invoice is back available again. So I go back to invoice. Scroll down and you can see that there's my item that I still need to invoice. I can do it this time now. So I'll put invoice completed in here. 
your invoicing. And again, I'm going to email a copy of the invoice to the customer and append those comments. So there you can see the grand total is going to be £20 that I'm going to invoice. I'm happy that the, the checks come through and I'll click submit invoice. And now the order is still set to processing but the invoice option has disappeared from the um, list of actions up here. If I go to my invoices tab you can see that two invoices have been created over here. At any point I can click on those and see the invoice again and perhaps send the email again if I wish to or I can print it off. If I go back and then go back to the information screen. So the stage the order's at now is it's been been invoiced, the customer's paid and I've got the goods into the van, they're ready to be delivered. So I can set this order now to delivered. To do that I'll click the deliver tab in the top this will be ship if it's um, a non-English translated uh, site, so if it's the American default language. So when I'm creating a shipment, the first thing I can do is add a tracking number. So if I'm using perhaps DHL or FedEx, I can go down here and say um, your tracking number is this. Then the customer will get that tracking number with their shipment and perhaps go onto the DHL website and check the status of their order if they wish to do so. Um, I don't have an actual tracking number so I'm not going to use one. I'm going to delete that. Okay, so I go down here and in the same way as the invoices a few moments ago, I can ship um, this order partially so I could perhaps only ship those three and then I can come back in and complete the shipment at a later stage when I'm ready to ship the full amount. Um, I'm going to assume that all these products are nicely in stock and ready to go. So I'm going to leave them all as two. And I'm going to put some delivery comments. You don't have to put delivery comments. This is just if you want to go perhaps a bit overboard with your customer service. So the van's left the depot. All items are shipped. I'm emailing my customer to let them know. Then I'll click submit delivery. So as far as the system is concerned now, that order status is set to complete. I go to my deliveries tab, you can see that I've, a delivery ID has been created for that order. If I click on the delivery, you can see that's associated with the order up there. It took me a while to find that, there you go. So it's touched to order 5 and it's shipment ID 2. So I'll click back and go back to my order overview screen. Going back, to, um, going back to the overview screen, if I scroll down, you can see now that all items are set to ordered, invoiced and dispatched successfully. The balance has been paid. I can scroll down here a bit further. I can see that it's gone from pending to processing to complete. So the, they are the three stages that your order will go through. Unless you have a automatic um, invoicing um, system alike, um, created based on whether you've got PayPal or perhaps credit card ordering on your front end. At any point of the order I can submit a comment again just in the same way that I did with the invoicing and the deliveries. So I could perhaps, you wouldn't really do this but I could send, I could send order complete to the customer and tick those two boxes so they can see in their account area and they'll get this notified by email as well. And that's how you complete and process an order in Magento.